thanks for tuning in to this video. This is a video review, um, not so much a review, but um, like an instructional thing, how I modified my top striker incandescent flashlight to accept um, Deal Extreme LED modules. So I'm going to put the camera down and show you what I did. So, Okay, so this is an unmodified Deal Extreme 14442 multi-mode drop-in that I'm going to use as reference. Um, I use that in my I use this one in my Surefire 6P and and it, it hasn't been modified for use in the top striker but this 11836 that's in here right now has been modified so let's take a look at that okay so let's unscrew the bezel and all the modification that you need to do is up here towards the light engine. So, okay, so first thing I did, first thing you have to do is you have to make the module physically capable of being dropped into the body of the flashlight. So the inside bore, inside diameter of the flashlight is too small and the outer bore of the reflector is too big. So uh, let's give you guys some dimensions. Those of you who are into machining and need to work off a dimensional dimensions and reference points. Um, there you go. So the inside diameter is about 20.92 millimeters. Okay, now what you need to do is take your reflector, which is 21.65 millimeters, and you need to bring this thing down to under 20.9 and that's what I've done on this module. This is my 11836 from Deal Extreme and I've used a file and I brought it down to roughly 20, there you go, 20.69, 20.77 I don't have a micrometer but I'm using my caliper so 20.8 okay so you, it, it, it's a lot of elbow grease and a lot of um, takes a lot of time but it's well worth the effort and you can see there how I've managed to thin the, thin the wall down just a little bit okay and you can kinda of see that here comparing the stock one over here versus this modified one okay so let's put this aside and that, that's just the first part that'll just get your module into the body of the flashlight okay so here you go and it just simply slides right in in fact I probably took a little too much off if I wanted to I could have what I should have done is just maybe gradually whittled it down bit by bit and, and a little more slowly a little more carefully and I would have had a really tight fitting module that would probably transfer heat a lot better to the body of the flashlight so so that's the first thing, and that, that's basically it. If, if you wanted to stop there, you could, um, but you'd have to retain that large outer diameter spring um, in order to make electrical contact with the flashlight. So I didn't want to do that. I wanted to take it a step further, and I wanted to make sure that the bottom of the pill contacts the body of the light. So um, what you have to do is you have to use your file and remove about a millimeter, maybe a millimeter and a half uh, around the bezel here. And you can kind of see where that's nice and shiny there. That's me filing through the hard anodized, the HA2 finish. And you're able to take enough material off this bezel, or off the body, and that allows the bezel to sit down low enough and compress the entire, the entire light module against the body. Okay, so if you didn't do this, if you didn't do this, if you didn't file this down, your, your, your dropping module would fit really loose and it wouldn't make very solid electrical contact with the body tube. So let's put it all together and show you that yes indeed it does actually work. So there goes the module, there's the bezel, and what's important at this stage is to tighten it all the way down and make sure it's really tight. And okay see I actually have it kind of loose. It's a little bit loose there. You can hear you can hear that rattling. Okay, that's not good. That's a loose fitting module inside your flash inside your flashlight. So what you want to do is loosen it back up a little bit. 
and like you've seen me do with my Surefire, unscrew the, the pill from the reflector just a little bit and drop it back in and fine tune fine tune this length here such that it's nice and tight and it's good solid contact and unlike the Surefire you don't really have gap conditions with the bezel on this flight okay there you go okay you hear that how nice and solid that is there's no rattling and no jostling around and again the nice thing about this light is you don't have to worry about a a gap condition between your bezel and the body because the way the geometry of the parts fit the bezel kind of kind of flows over the body tube naturally so and let's put the batteries back in and the cap whoopsie the cap goes back on nice and tight and there you go and there you have it. Okay, so hope, I hope you guys find this useful. Um, I really like this flashlight. It's twenty-four dollars at Fry's. You can get them online for a little bit more than that, but twenty dollars, twenty-five dollars in store. It's a P60 host, solid aluminum. It's a HA2 finish. Okay, so it's not HA3 like someone was inquiring about, but um, and it's a really well made light and I think it's really worthy of you know a really good drop in module one of these days I'll put a, I'll put a Eugene Mulkoff or something like that something really nice or maybe a Wolf Eyes or something really nice uh, into this light so so thanks a lot for taking the time and thanks